hello everyone so today we are going to import the t-rex character we created in blender into unreal and create a you create a player controllable character like this so the animations look a rigid look a bit rigid and everything is not a smooth and perfect but we are just going to export the animations we created and just set up the character inside unreal so right let's see how to do that step today so last time in the t-rex series we implemented this animations for the t-rex this walking animation and this idle animation so now we are finally ready to import this animation animated character into unreal and implement the character here so this is uh, example project with the third person template added so here already i already have the third person template nothing special is going on in this project yet so first let me export this character into unreal engine Sport uh, PX. Here I'll set forward to X and Z up. I'll name the FBX file T Rex. Uh, hold on. Let's rename this. object also to t-rex yeah and export x forward z up uh, i think that's so we may run into some scaling issues but let's uh, fix those things inside Unreal and export. Okay, now I have the T-Rex file, FBX file in the exported folder. So now let me go to the project characters. Here I'll add a new folder. T-Rex and let's import this T-Rex FBX here this should be a skeletal mesh and we need to import it import animations and what else should we use animated time let's try that and import all okay so here we have the character and the animations wait the head looks a bit odd let's check out the animation Animation seems fine, but what's wrong with here? Right, let's let me close this and let's go into Blender. Let's go back to layout. Disable X-ray mode and select the mesh. Go to edit mode. So this is where we had the issue. Let's see. Oh, okay. So the issue is we have two overlapping edges. So let me just move them a bit like this. Now that 
should hopefully solve the issue. Right. Let's export again. And here I'll do a re import. Yeah, it's gone cool now. Let's check the animation. Yeah, animation seems fine. You also you have that issue. So to resolve the issue in the neck, I think here we should have another eleven. Ah, oh, yeah. We do. Maybe we should move it with the edge. Now save this and export wait fx now hit reimport and it should be fine right now the neck looks fine in the animation okay now the next step is creating the character so here we already have the third person character to make this easier let me just duplicate this pp t-rex right so let's go here and instead of this mesh i'll use this t-rex and here we don't have an animation blueprint yet but let me just drag and drop it here oh wait we should set the forward direction as well where is the arrow component oh direction is already correct yeah it's correct ah that's because it's already rotated for the mesh for the humanoid mesh okay so now let's possess this and yeah it is working without animations great so let's create an animation blueprint for this one and in blueprint i'll call this abp t-rex and to use inside this animation blueprint we need the uh, Blend space as well. VSP T-Rex local motion. Here is the animation blueprint. We don't have any animations yet. Let me drag and drop this local motion. Oh, this axis now. Let's create this one. So I'll name this axis as speed. Um, what the speed we need to be? I don't really know. So let's just try something like 400. And let's see. This is idle. Let me put it here and work in animation. Let's put it in the 400. Now you see it works like this. Okay, now here we have the speed input. Let me promote it to a variable. And in the animation blueprint, we have this try get pawn owner is valid. If we have a valid pawn owner, so from this we can uh, access the pawn. That means the character, the blueprint that is using 
uh, this animation blueprints to control its mesh so that means here we are trying to access this blueprint if we have a valid pawn owner we can get velocity but what we have is a speed which is a float value so I'll make a vector length so we can get the magnitude of the velocity vector right now I'll assign that animation blueprint I created a b p t rex for this one so we already got the idle animation if I move now you see it's too fast for the animation but it is working so here I'll set the working max warp speed how about something like 200 I'm actually not sure still it's too fast but actually partly because we used 400 let me make this 100 oh. wait I'm getting errors let me go back to 100 and move this here okay now let's see I'll set the max walk speed to 100 it's less than cross the speed but that's fine okay let's increase this speed like three times and let's see how it looks Still, I can see some sliding. I reduced the speed to 150. Now, this seems fine. Good enough. So, still, we don't have any turning animations or anything to make the movement smooth. We because we didn't spend any time on those things we just need some working character in unreal and that's what we got so yeah i think that's all i wanted to do here creating a dinosaur character a to z that means showing the modeling steps and animation steps rigging and then finally importing it into unreal and creating the character okay so thanks for watching as always project files will be available here for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye